we will create polyhedral mesh for this simulation. Name of this meshing software is G-Grid. Enable double precision and select number of cores to be used. I will use 4 cores. In T-Grid we are using watertight geometric workflow. We just need to finish all the steps in the tree one by one. First click on import geometry. Keep add local sizing as no and click on update. Now we need to generate the surface mesh. We need to enter global minimum and maximum element size here. Turn on the cut section view to limit in Z. When you click on minimum size you can view representation of element size in graphics window. This size looks quite small. Let's increase minimum element size to 0.001 meter. Now it looks fine. Similarly, click on max element size. It looks too coarse. Let's reduce it to 0.004 meters. Now the max element size looks just about fine. Once done, click on generate surface mesh. You can now view surface mesh. However, there is only one element across the thickness of fins. We need at least 2 to 3 elements. Let's go to surface mesh again and click on edit. Increase cells per gap to 2. Click on update. You can now see we have 2 cells along the thickness of fin. You can increase cells per gap to 3 in your case. Max Qness value is 0.48. For a surface mesh, it should be below 0.7. Next, we describe the geometry. Select geometry contains both fluid and solid domains option. Change fluid fluid boundary internal to yes. Click on describe geometry. Make sure inlet type is velocity inlet and outlet is pressure outlet. All other boundaries are walls. Click on update boundaries. Then click on create regions. Make sure only fluid region type is fluid. Rest two should be solid regions. Click on update regions. For boundary layers, let's use offset method type as last ratio. Let's use transition ratio of 0.4 and first layer height as 0.001 meter. Click on add boundary layers. Last step is to generate volume mesh. Let's use max cell length of 0.4. 004 meters which is our max element size. Let's select polyhex core mesh which creates hex elements in the middle and poly elements near boundaries. Again change max cell length to 0.004 meters which is our max element size. Click on generate volume mesh. You can see that we have hex cells in the middle and poly cells near boundaries. This helps in reducing mesh count. We also have three boundary layers on all the walls. Total cell count is just 127k cells. Our minimum non-orthogonal quality is 0.15. This means skewness is 0.85. 
Skewness should be below 0.9 in volume mesh to call it a good quality mesh. We can even adjust the location of section plane in X direction. Enable draw cell layer option to view full volume mesh. It is a good practice to visually inspect mesh at all locations so that you don't get problems during the simulation. This concludes our meshing part. We have a good quality polyhex core mesh with low cell count. Click on switch to solution button and click yes. It will open fluent solver in the same window where we will set up the case.